Greetings. Now we're going to show you how to take control. Now we're going to be moving kind of fast. It's going to be a crash, crash course. Try to keep up. This is black light. And old school, soul school channel. Born in 1946. July be 74. And I'm so glad I woke up on time. Allah gave me back my right mind. From the land of Nod to the kingdom of God. It's time for the black man to rise and shine. It's nation time. Now look here. You got to get rid of all that shakiness that's in you. All that scaredness. Because a lot of y'all don't know if you're doing the right thing sometimes when you challenge authority in the system. But y'all should know how this whole thing started. Was it right when it started? Okay, let's go back. Let's ask the question. Did Christopher Columbus invade of the Americas. Did he invade it? Or did he discover it? Now when you get through figuring it out that one. If he invaded it. It was an act of war. But it don't seem like he invaded it because at first. He came over here and got familiar with the land and the culture. And he used the natives to show him how to survive in this part of the planet. He used the natives to show him to show him how to survive over here and where was all the resources. And when he seen that they wasn't using it. To his understanding of how to use it. They were using it but not the way he wanted to use it. He said, well let me show these let me show these uh backwards people how to deal with this. So he got anxious and started killing off a whole lot of tribes, a whole lot of nations of indigenous people as when they would show him how to survive over here, he'd, he'd, after he found out how to survive in certain areas, he would knock them off. Wipe out the whole tribe. There's a whole lot of tribes that's distinct from being murdered. But they don't want to tell y'all that. So, they tell you, make up some lies and tell y'all and y'all fall for it. Now, when he went over to Africa, did he invade Africa? See, Africa is so big and so massive that he couldn't just, with the, the little amount of uh, men he had, he had to use technology. He used technology all the time, but a different kind of technology on the African. And then, once he got familiar with certain parts, of the terrain and the land and the people, he started taking that part over. When he went to Australia, where the Aboriginal brothers and sisters were, did he invade that land or not? He invaded it. Came in trying to be friendly, cool with everybody, then he took it over. So on and so on with the islands, with uh, South America, with everywhere he went. He ran that same game. It was a chess move. And then while he was friend, being friendly with him, he was sitting up his, his uh, men in key positions. You know, sitting up his men in key positions. Now, 
he brought the black man over here to work the land because the black man was the strongest man on the planet, the wisest man on the planet because he'd been here the longest. Now, during the time of George Washington, he had things pretty well under control. His only hang-up was with England and Europe. They wanted a piece of the action. He didn't want to give him, give him none. So he got the, some of the Native Americans to help him fight. And he got some of the Africans to help him fight. He won his independence. But London, England went back to the drawing board and said, we're going to come a different way. So the Rothschilds came with the money system, the banking system. They took over the government like that. It was so smooth, they say, well, look, let's let the people think that they got the same kind of uh, authority and government that they've been having. But really, we're going to trick them. Because you got the poor, dumb hillbilly, redneck, and then they held back the education from the black man for 400 years. So they had a 400 year uh, educational jump on us, you know. And if they catch us reading and writing, they would chop, chop a tongue out, eyes out, and all that kind of stuff. Y'all know what to do. So they conditioned us to be uh, servants and flunkies and stupid. That carries over to today. And they let you think that you're getting a... Uh, when you go to college, you, you oh, they, that's a good school. That's a, they ain't teaching you nothing. To, not the real deal. So now, do you think that this was a war crime or an invasion, a war tactic? Yeah. Now, how do you how do you uh? Get your composure back. Y'all forget about the King Alpha plan and martial law. Y'all forget about the Constitution is no longer in effect. When the Rothschilds came with their uh, agents to the uh, Jekyll's Island and took over the uh, country. Well, see, those wise Caucasians that knew what was going on, they can't tell tell the black man that the constitution is no longer standard because they'll be giving away their power altogether see so around 1930 master farad came over here in detroit and y'all brothers and sisters that live in detroit y'all got the advantage over the rest of the brothers and sisters but y'all don't know it you know, uh, we had won in 1967. We won. We took over the city. We took over the government and everything. But you got these trader black people, bourgeois, boule, booms and perfume, uh, uh, coons and buffoons. You know, that don't like themselves and their people. And if you notice that the black, the, the white man going to make sure that a portion or percentage of black people going to get rich, wealthy, and can hang with him, rub shoulders with him. So you got your sports figures, you got your entertainers, you got your actors, your movie actors, you got certain politicians, you know, that's living good, and their job is to keep you ignorant. And make you think that you're not still in captivity. You're not still a prisoner of war. That you're not still a slave. That's their job. And they use them as an example. Like Oprah Winfrey. Like all them. Like your boy T.I. Uh, Jay-Z. Uh, all them. They know what time it is. But they can't reveal it. Or they die. Obama. All them. You know, everybody think think Obama was down for black people, 
or just because he was black. No, Obama wasn't raised like us. His mother was Caucasian. She groomed him for the, that uh, position of president. His old man was a Muslim, but he was a, he, he was a uh, double agent. You know, he was a double agent. And he died, I think he died uh, probably mysteriously. But you don't hear Obama talking about him that much. You know. So, y'all been tricked, bamboozled. Now, I want y'all to listen up. This is the first thing that you got to do. Is Caucasian, is he lawful is what he doing is it lawful under the universe the laws of the universe god's law so you abandon god's law you put the white man's law in place of god's law thinking that he represent god he don't he represent the devil so now look does he have the authority over a legal authority over you hell no he's your enemy how are you going to have the authority over the original man and woman of the planet? That's how you start taking control. Recognize that you ain't doing nothing wrong. But you got to get organized. You see? You got to get organized. You got to network with one another. Y'all was doing right when y'all had the gangs. The gangs was cool until they, they was inf infiltrated by the uh, government. And the government gave them some money. When the government started giving them money, you know, which was the, it's the black man's really, that's the black man's God, them dead Benjamins. So that's the first thing you do. Network, organize, conference call. Get block clubs. Now we're going to come back. My time is up for right now. Pass this along.